We have an astonishing revelation to make. We have discovered that some current affairs reporters possess magical powers. That's right, they are supernatural magicians. Don't believe us? Well, prepare to meet the majestic sorcerer Chris Simmon the Magnificent from today tonight. Now, here he is talking to this expert. You can see all the expert books in the background there. Okay, now she answers his question. We cut back to Chris Simmons and Shazam! He's on the other side of the room! Let's take another look at that one. Yes, he has teleported across the room. Move over Gandalf. Amazing. Now, Chaz, I think respectable TV presenters should be much more careful about the noddies they record, don't you believe? On to today's lesson now, Youth Gone Wild. Now, according to Today Tonight, young people only started going wild in 2006. Before then, childhood was like something out of Huckleberry Finn. Ask anyone over the age of about 25 to reflect on their childhood, and most will have happy memories of a carefree youth. Life, it seems, was simpler then. There was less pressure, less consumerism, and more outdoor fun. I remember those days spent fishing. By contrast, every kid today is like this. Smash it. Yep, every Youth Gone Wild story requires footage of youth going wild. But if you don't have any, don't worry. Just use some footage of kids sitting around doing nothing. Completely unsupervised. They believe that violence and crime has spiralled out of control. There's more and more... Watch out, it's a bike! Oh, Watch out. It's very down. And look at this coming up here, I believe. They are on a porch. Whoa! Oh. It's uh, terrifying, terrifying. Now, I've got to say, I, I know uh, Today Tonight may have run 33 of these stories this year to ACA's 21, uh, but I will not hear of anyone accusing Today Tonight of exaggerating the threat. Now there are calls to take serious action against thugs who are hell-bent on destroying everything. I mean, who can understand kids? No one. So thank God ACA has experts to explain them to us. Experts like the editor of this respectable scientific journal. The Dolly Youth Monitor report has revealed that uh, kids today, the median age that they're having sex, is around 14. Yeah, it's a real milestone in sociological research, the Dolly Youth Monitor report. But if you thought Dolly Magazine was scientific, look at this psychologist assessment of why some kids are out of control. It's a very rare condition. It's called the Princess Bitch Face Syndrome. <laughs> so, how did so many teenagers end up with the Princess Bitch Face Syndrome? Well, ACA believes the answer lies in their lack of knowledge of vegetables. People are no longer being taught values. Kids don't know what a stick of celery or a cucumber looks like. And, and the, the problem runs even deeper than that. Kids are also being taught the most filthy language in school. Today, tonight, visited this concerned mother. But when sex-related issues came uninvited into her house as part of her son's homework, she was appalled. It was more to do with the female reproduction system, um, where it's like vulva, ovum, fallopian tube. Disgusting! And fallopian tube isn't the end of it either. If we could just look back at that list of words for a second. Look at the one she's highlighted. Emission! <laughs> Thank goodness we're in this late-night time slot. So what is to be done with these promiscuous, swearing, bike-riding, vegetable-ignoring thugs? <laughs> well, the solution is simple. So we should be publicly yeah. humiliating yeah. juveniles yeah. for their crimes. Yeah, I would say so, because that's the only way they, uh, you can teach them. Yeah, bravo. It's an interesting proposal, this naming and shaming kids idea, I think. And when ACA ran a poll on it, it really divided their viewers. A staggering 99% of callers agree that juveniles found guilty of serious crimes should be publicly named and shamed. Statistics worthy of the Dolly Youth Monitor report. And, you know, that isn't the first time ACA has run a poll with that kind of result. We got a 95% poll here, a 96% poll here. Here's a 98%. They're always very fair and balanced, these polls. But it seems that no matter how much they load their poll questions, ACA never seems to get 100% to zero results. Well, uh, we figured we could help them out in this area, so we devised a question guaranteed to get a 100% answer. Are our current affair polls full of shit? <laughs>